I grew up with the understanding that there were owners and there were workers and never the twain shall meet. And when I was a kid, I read that magnificent biography of John L. Lewis by Saul Alinsky, and my sympathies were forever entrenched. However, in my personal experience, my, my relationship with unions hasn't always been great. And it started when I was 19 and working for the North Thames Gas Board in London, England, as an accountant's clerk. Uh, we would do our work, and then at the end of the day, not in a rush to go home and, and uh, try to figure out how we were going to eat, uh, we would go to the billiard room, which was above the works yard, and shoot a game of pool or two. And we'd only been at this two or three days when three workers came in with their hands stuffed down in their, in their coveralls, and they glared at us, and I said, Oh, hi, fellas. Is this your pool table? If it is, we're sorry. We work in the office and we'll get out of here. They didn't say a word and they scurried off in a 1942 green huff. And we continued our game and about 10 minutes later, in came the yard foreman with these three huddling behind his skirts. Hey there, what you think you're doing? And being a loudmouth even at the age of 19, I said, hey, we just told your guys that we're happy to leave if this is your table. We're sorry. So I, I, I've never really recovered from that position. Uh, and, you know, I live in a city in a province where you can pretty well count on the teachers of, uh, of this neck of the woods going on strike pretty much every year or as often as, as the trains uh, do their chaperones in, in Italy. Uh, the irony of all this is that the guy who for many, many years was the head of the Federation of Unions is one of my dearest friends. Uh, however, pickle. All human institutions, marriage, religion, uh, schools, the military, unions, all tend towards a kind of bureaucratic milieu and they tend to stiffen up and they have a kind of imperialism. It would just be nice if occasionally people could keep their eye on the prize.